Your Program. I am your host, Fat Man. Got a little boy. And this is our weekly netcast podcast, every kind of pet cast. Live stream. Live, live, live stream cast. <laughs> I just threw the cast in there because it's yeah. funny. Uh, for, um, gosh, we're like in, this is the last week, we're in a, kind of, because it doesn't quite make No, we're the third week. week. No, there's one more week. Is it? Third yeah, week? There's, there's a fourth week, so we're in the third week right now. Yes, that's right, third week of March. There's a fourth week. Boy, time is just flying. You remember when yeah. we started this whole thing? Yes. On the couch? On the couch with the tin foil holding it together. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, now we have our new system, so uh, hopefully we can get into it. Um, little boy, i got to ask you the same questions like yep. I always do. How was your week? Well, I took the uh, family to uh, Disneyland and California Adventures uh, this weekend, and it was a lot of fun. It was raining, um, though, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, the, we went to Disneyland on Friday, and the cool thing is this is right before spring break, so I don't think everybody really is, everybody's kind of planning on going for spring break. So when we got there on Friday, there was a threat of rain. We went to Disneyland. The longest line we waited in, I think, was like 40 minutes, but most of them were real quick, you know. Um, a couple of them were, were long. Great time, though. Uh, went to California Adventure on Saturday, and it poured, but... Because, because it poured, there was nobody there. I would rather fight through rain and no lines than have long lines and sunny skies. Hmm. It was great. Um, we rode the uh, the Soren California whatever roller coaster that goes upside down, and it took me back to our motorcycle riding days when we used to ride in the hail because uh, it was pouring rain. And let me tell you, it was painful when you're going. I don't know how fast those roller coasters go. Um, Let's say 250 miles an hour, because that's what it felt like. 250. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That feels a little bit <laughs> Probably 60 miles an hour. But the rain is, you know, big drops just pelting your face. And uh, it, it hurt a little bit, but it was fun. We had a blast, an absolute blast. Real good time up there. I'm glad. I'm glad you got to spend some time with your family. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I actually do have to throw this out here. Next weekend, I had asked little boy to go with me up to the Bay Area because I love to go to the Bay Area, but he's too busy for I have a, uh, Hi, Laura. Hi, Paul. I, uh, I'm going to Laura's birthday party. I'm calling Laura up, and I'm going to tell her, look, first off, where's my invite? All right. Second, uh, she wants to keep out the riffraff. Yeah, well, she wants to keep out the riffraff. <laughs> So we're uh, we're barbecuing over at her house, so uh, so I couldn't leave town with you. Yeah, yeah. And plus, I spent all my money at Disneyland and California Adventures on the ponchos. Let me tell you something. They make a thirty-nine cent poncho, and they sell it for eight bucks. <laughs> and they don't even make it. No, I know. They just put their name on it. I felt totally ripped off, but it was at the same time it was worth it because it kept us dry. But. Uh, you know, eight bucks times four, that's a lot of money for 39 cent ponchos. Yeah, it is. They made a killing. They probably root for the rain because they make a, oh, they'll make a killing on everything. <laughs> you know you know why they charge that much? Because they can. Yeah, it, it, you paid for it, didn't you? Oh, yeah. So there you go. I do have something to add today. We have a producer finally in the studio with us today. Jen, yes. you want to say hello? Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hey, uh, Jen, thanks for coming in. Is everything yes. recording okay in there? Everything looks great. All we, right. We will find out for sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll know after the show. When I look <laughs> yeah, and go, I'll, uh, so I'll tell you did, later. Did you hit record? <laughs> <laughs> did you want me to do that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Have a good show. All, All right. Thanks, Jen. All right, so, little boy, we have a lot of things to go over today. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about real quick was I wanted to say thank you to Ray. Uh, Ray is a listener of the show, and he, he uh, went to the Reagan Library. Ray is also the gentleman who gave me the uh, Reagan calendar, and now I have a Reagan Air Force One hat. Yes. And uh, you know how I am about Reagan, so I, know how I really appreciate Reagan. it. Thank you very much, Ray. Ray seems to be a big fan of yours. You know, I wrote a, uh, an article today on the Yankees for our PMLB Sports. Oh, yeah? And... Uh, I uh, have a lot of family who lives in New York, so I kind of sent around my article a little bit. My article started as this one little tiny thing. By the time it got done, I had 700 uncles tell me, you know, what it should say and what it shouldn't say. So I want to say thank you to Joe. Uh, he, uh, my, my dad, actually, Joe Randazzo. Because my last name is Randazzo, as a lot of people well, know. Okay, well, so, now everybody knows. Well, they go to PMLB Media, it's got, okay. or PMLB Sports. Because right. anyway, I said, hi, Mr. Randazzo, on one of our shows, and you bleeped it out. I did, I did, but, but on PMLB Sports, our names are there. Okay. Except yours says Little Boy, but mine has my regular name on there, so I figure what the heck. Okay. Anyway, um, I wanted to say thank you uh, to Joe uh, and Dad for helping me out with the Andy Pettit story. 
So, and I'm going to talk. I don't know if I'm going to be on the round table this week with you because you know a lot of times you don't want me there. But if we are, yeah. I got a lot of Yankees talk. That You're I'm always welcome. We'll we'll throw a Yankees topic out there. All right, big, big couple seconds. But anyway, let's get to our show because we're getting in here long already. Um, I wanted to talk to you about Timothy Geithner. Um, do you know who he is? Um, yeah, he's the. Uh, 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 He's. I'm trying to remember exactly. He has right, to well, do you want me to tell you who yeah, he is? <laughs> he's the Secretary of the Treasury right. under President Obama. Now, uh, he's part of what they call the cabinet. Mm -hmm. He's brought in by the president. And he, in February, uh, testified in front of the Senate, uh, uh, the Senate on um, the budget. And this is now they're talking about the 2013 budget. And uh, his words were uh, basically, um, well, not even basically, here it is. He said uh, he confessed with breathtaking honesty that the administration had no plans to rein in long-term national debt nor to reduce out-of-control spending. Um, and obviously that's an excerpt of his whole com uh, yeah, I'd like comment. To, I would really like to. I'm going to do some looking because yeah, I would like to see the whole gist of everything. Now, you know me. The most important thing to me is the national debt. I think yeah. that the national debt is is uh, what's the most important thing here. I know people argue spending, and we've gotten all these arguments before. To me, the most important thing is national debt. That it, it, I don't know. It, to, to me, it seems like maybe this was taken out of context. I'm just saying because I haven't seen the well, whole thing. I would like to see it, the whole. If, if it, was, it doesn't seem like a very wise thing to say, anyways. You well, know? either way, because he does work for the president. The thing I was uh, interested in is. Um, I watched a video today, and this video was from a little after 2008. The um, the uh, Demo well, actually, it was the administration had put it out, and it was narrated by Tom Hanks. And during this video, and matter of fact, there's a link on our website to it. Um, uh, Tom Hanks, who I sent out a tweet to today, but I doubt I'll ever get a tweet back was just praising the heck out of the president and how he's going to change this and how he's going to change that, and he also was praising him for. Timothy Geithner. So what I was, what I asked Mr. Hanks, and I'm asking him again right now, although I doubt he watches the show, is, did you actually do any research, or did you just take the money and run? Obviously, he took the money. I mean, I, I know this is a stupid thing to say because you know he didn't really care. He was just reading a script. But they were praising Geithner, and now, and I hope I'm saying his name right, but I don't even care if I'm not. But now. He's saying that the Obama administration has zero reins, zero control, and has no intention of of, her, of uh, working with the spending. And I wanted to basically throw that out there. He said that in February. He said that in February. Yeah. Well, I'm, you know, I mean, I don't have a whole lot to add to that because I'm not quite sure if this is how, what kind of context this was taken in. I mean, if you just take what he says there. Well, obviously you can take sound bites. This right. is just a bite that right. I saw. So that if you I take just what he says there, I, I, it's something that I disagree with because to me the national debt is important. It was very but important. But we already know the national debt's going to go up. And we already know that the numbers you had originally gave me were numbers that the, uh, that the uh, accounting office for Congress didn't, have all the facts for the new health care, and now that has all changed a bit. Not exactly the same, but it has changed. And uh, so I know the national debt is very important to you, mm -hmm. and um, we know it's going to go up, and that's, that's just where we're at. Now, I, I know one of the difference, main differences between you and I is we both don't think the national debt should go up. I think it should be reduced tremendously. The way of reduction is different for me than it is for you. Right. For me, it's just cut, 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 cut to the bone. For you, it's tax, 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 tax. Well, so that's what's so interesting about it. And the reason why I wanted to throw that out there, I know we have a long show, and I'm, gonna, you know, I'll stop talking here in a moment and give you your time. But I wanted to uh, to go over that this is the administration's plan per. Their Treasury Secretary. Well, like I said, I don't know if that's their actual plan or not. I, I'm, I'd have to see the whole the whole thing that he said. Well, you um, did have time to look at this today. I did send it to you quite early this yeah, morning. Yeah, I was busy. I was oh, I know you were busy. Even though I'm on vacation, but. I happen to be on vacation this week, but I was actually busy all day long. I didn't even start looking at the show notes until right before I came over here. All right. Um, but I did add something to it, too. I'd actually well, add to it. Let's, let's hear your side of it. Well, Okay, uh, that's quite enough. Yeah. Let's go to Michael Moore. No. <laughs> You know, it's it, there's something you know that that uh, there's something that maybe we should think about that was it was on the show notes last week and we never really got to it. Um, that kind of goes along with this. What do you think about um, what like when Congress? Remember the the show notes I sent you last week where it said when Congress doesn't pass a budget, 
they shouldn't get paid until they do. Absolutely think that should be. And, and maybe we should do the same thing. Maybe if, uh, see, I, I'm on the fence on this for a couple of reasons. Number one, if, if maybe we should say if they can't pass, if they can't pass a balanced budget or, um, a budget that's actually paying down the national debt, but at least at the bare minimum balanced budget, maybe nobody should get paid. The problem is I think that they start to make concessions and they start to... Uh, that is a problem. They start to cut things that, that is maybe, you know, just say, well, well, no problem you know, well I want to get paid, so let's just start cutting things. But uh, one of, the, one of the, the problems with that is that they were saying that, you know, you have members of Congress who are absolutely loaded, and you have members of Congress that live paycheck to paycheck like you and I. And that would give the advantage to the ones who have money, you know, basically, they could sit there and hold out forever saying, oh, I, don't need, I don't need my pay, you know, I'm not going to give in, and the ones who need it, so I'm not sure if it would work or not. But uh, the thing is, their job is to pa pass a, a balanced budget. If I don't do my job, I don't get paid. Well, that's actually not their job to pass that's a balanced one of their, budget. That's one their of their job, job is to do what their constituents want them to do. And if you have constituents that are telling you, cut, 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 well, or you have constituents that are telling you, tax, 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 I think that if you took... I, I mean, think, see, the, the thing is, the, the answer is somewhere in the middle. I don't yeah, think that it's, it's all it's what not, I want or it's all what you want. We've been doing this before. It is not but if Congress... They, it's not my congressman's job to go make his own decisions that have nothing to do with what I want him to do. I elected him for a reason. I think that they need to compromise a little bit, and you're too black and white. You're, it has to be my way or nothing. That's and there needs to be Well, there needs to be some compromise. That's well, what's you know what, though? I'm not wishy-washy on that. If I want what I want, that's, yeah, it. But that's what that's I want. That's because you're selfish. Well, selfish or not, you say well, selfish. I say I selfish. Say it's the way that I think and I believe I think right. on the right way. So well, it's not being selfish. Doesn't make you right. It makes you right. It makes it's not saying, I want everything for me. That's no, what you're what saying. saying is, saying is, I want it my way, and that's it. What I'm that's saying what you is, said. What I'm saying is, is that that I feel that I am in the right side of it. So I hate for the, my congressman to go to Congress, who I elected on uh, uh, conservative values, to go to Congress and then turn around and become a liberal. That would absolutely. That's not what I'm saying. That. that is not what yeah, I'm but, saying. But, but, that's not what but I'm saying. Being I'm in saying the middle this. and kumbaya no. bull. That, that's, that's what it's all level. about. You need to no. It's about compromise. It's about we have a country and not everybody is one way. We need to try and meet so in the middle a little bit. So basically, it's about just being mediocre. No. Well, because that's kind of what you're saying. Compromise it's, is not mediocre. It's, it's, you, know you know what? what? It's you know not really like, what we want. You know, it's, it's not really what's best for the country. But I got I got to cut you off there because we forgot to say something at the beginning of the show. We have a call-in phone line. We do. That's right. And uh, it's uh, 619-387... I just lost it here. Hold on. I clicked on the wrong thing. Can you help us out there, Jen? 619-387-3457. And I've already had that up for you guys. Thank oh, you. All right, Thank great. you very much. See, it's good. If, uh, <laughs> By the way, Producer Joe, if uh, our Director Joe, if you're watching this, what happened? Where'd you go? <laughs> Where'd you go? What happened to you? It was going so great. Yeah, then all of a sudden, boom. Uh, anyway, okay. You can call into the show, and it will come directly in. We don't have a screener. We don't have that whole system, no, you know. we want to know. Yeah. It's, boom. So if you, have to, if you have something to add, you know, call in well, and add right to it. Well, you on the phone it, and start know. cursing us out. Well, we can Which is fine. You can curse out a little boy. I don't care. All right. I'm used to Listen, it. Anyways, it's about, it's, it's got to be more about, either, there's got to be more compromise, I think. Okay. Uh, Kumbaya. No, I, I understand. Okay, so uh, let's talk, talk about... I want to talk about the thing I sent you. Okay, you want to do that first? Yeah. Okay. Atheists use unholy water to unbless Florida's highway. <laughs> now, this was actually sent to me by one of our listeners. They, uh, they <laughs> A group of Flor Floridian free thinkers converged on a strip of U.S. Route 98 Saturday with mops and a giant vat of unholy water to cleanse the thoroughfare of a blessing it received from a Christian group. Because I guess a Christian group went and, and washed the road with holy water. Unbelievable. So, uh, okay, so I was did you read the whole article? The article says that these, these uh, free thinkers mm -hmm. uh, were upset that they threw holy water on the front of the highway and blessed it, and they said that they shouldn't do that. They didn't, okay. they didn't say that yeah, they, they said, were upset. And so basically what happened was they go out they because said they're that, so no, much they more said, mature. They said the road, no, 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 that's not, you're turning it into something it's not. I read the whole exactly article too. So they think they're no, no, so no, 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 no. mature yeah, but you're saying they, that's what they, they washed it down with brooms of unholy water. First off, that's not what they said. First of all, first of all, 
Yeah, yeah that's that's, 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 that's what's holy water though. There's, there's no such thing either. Yes, it is. No, holy, not. holy water. Holy okay. water is water. That is. <laughs> Holy water is water. That's it. It's just water. Okay, I got there's a no for difference. You. I got a question for you. Yeah. No difference. I got a question for you. Okay. Holy water to you is just the whole religious part of it, right? There is. An, what is okay? Then what is kosher food? There is no kosher food. Doesn't no, that's matter. Different. Kosher why is food, it different? Explain exactly why it's food, different. There's rules for kosher food. Yes. What? In order for a food to be kosher, certain things can't have gone together. Certain things have to have been. You know, done when it was prepared. Holy water. Uh, what else does it have to happen okay. to be kosher? Go ahead and go through okay. the whole thing. I, I guess it has to be blessed too. It that's does. How, that, that it does. Holy water has the same thing. Does, it have, does it have to be blessed? Does it have to be blessed? It has to be blessed. Okay, first of all, does it have to come from the river of Jordan? It's supposed to. But it does. does uh, but does holy water have to come from the river of Jordan? No. All you have to do is have some guy come up and do that. Okay, and say, so it's, bless it's holy blessed. Water. It's blessed now. Right. So, so now I have holy water now. Food to you. You, you're, 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 you're you are. No, I am you not. Are no, I am not. Yes, I am not. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. No, yes, you are. no I'm not. Explain you're com- exactly the difference, other than the, the the prepare, because holy water has to be done in a certain type of crucible. It has no, it to be done. But, no, no, it no. doesn't have specific rules. It's supposed like well, kosher. Okay, then explain the rules since you know so much. Holy water. Negative. Yes. Negative. Yes. And it's not just you. It has to be a priest. Okay. So it's the same priest. idea. Holy water. It's the same idea as kosher you food. You can test kosher food. How can you test it? You can test it and you're blessed by a rabbi? You no. can test that. Explain how you can test it. That it wasn't made will on you, Saturday? Will you calm down you for a second? How could you test that it wasn't will made you, on Saturday? Will you calm down for no. a second? No. How could you test that it wasn't made on Saturday? The main how thing... Can you te- what's the main thing? The, will you let me talk? What's the main thing? I'm trying to tell. Why would you say what's the main thing when I'm trying to Speak. tell you the main thing? Speak. The main thing about kosher food is... Not letting, you know, I, I don't know all of the actual rules, but like uh, having dairy touch the meat. How can you test that? You, can, you, can, you mean you can't test that there's dairy in the meat? You cannot test. There are physical things. It's not just things. dairy in the meat. There are you physical. Can't have, you can't there have are, pork in the same building. How there can you are test the physical, physical in the same building? There are physical things. How can you test this on Saturday? There are physical things. Uh-oh. It's working. I think it's working. I can hear it. I hear it, Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, it's, it's cutting, cutting in now? Okay. All right, check your thing. We have to check right. the mic. Rather than just right. coming over the air. Okay. <laughs> now, there are there are And that's physical, why I let this mic cut out. There are physical things. And there's also spiritual things. There are, I know, but there Agree, are physical. Yes or no, there is. Of course, there's things. more. Exactly. But there's there not. But with, what, with holy water, but with holy water, there is only spiritual. So you can't test. You can't te- There's nothing testable about holy so water. So basically, to you... Because I've been you can, asking you this I can put, wait, Listen to you. And listen you never come through Listen to me. This. I'm telling you something. You can have a plate of kosher food. And you can test every can, single bit. No, I'm not saying that. Well, then there you go. There there are, are, no, no, let me, no, 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 no. Because no, 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 no. your finish no. doesn't mean I'm not. No, you I'm know why the difference There are testable things. You can have a plate of food and say it's kosher, and you can have a plate of food that's not kosher. And there are things that can be tested. Would you agree? Sure. Okay. There is nothing that you can test. Sure you can. What can you test? Spiritually, you can test it. You bull. Yes. Yes, you can. Cool. Yes, you can. You cannot test. There's, there's no yes, way. To, you can. There's nothing and you can do. I know this isn't because this is done by a devil worshiper. You cannot. Who's the devil? Worshiper? You. All right. So we're going on to the next step. I don't believe in the devil either. Yeah. And we're going on to the next step. No, there's nothing you can do to test to tell me if that's holy water or not. There's no test. Michael Moore this week. There's no test. Was uh, ridiculed and heckled at a uh, protest. A. Um, Occupy. Occupy protest. Mm-hmm. And I thought this was great because, you know, I don't like Michael Moore in any way. Matter of fact, Jen, do we have the video of him being ridiculed? Let's try to run that. Um, he is the epitome of the 99%. The guy is super wealthy. He says he's part of the 99%. Yeah, he gives no money to anybody. Are you sure about that? Well, okay. If you can tell me where his charity, his charitable donations go... Then I would be complete. I would take. That I am. Back. I am the not saying. I am not saying that he does because I don't know. But I don't think you do either. I think it's just something you threw out there. The difference between Michael Moore is, and the big thing that they had was when he did that bowling for Columbine. Remember how he did that? Mm-hmm. Where should the profits of that movie have gone to? He made the movie. He could put the profits wherever he wanted. I know, but in his thing, everybody else in the world needs to be because he is absolutely speaks, talks, does out. Like a communist. 
but he turns around and he's the biggest capitalist out there. Matter of fact, and good for him for keeping all his money, but what I call a person like that... I don't hear him. I don't hear him talking about communism. Are you? He's a communist. If there's any communist, he constantly complains about capitalism. He says how terrible it is and how everybody should be exactly the same. Michael I don't Ford ever hear him say any of that of stuff. Life. I think that you're, I think that now, you're making stuff up. Now, what happens with him is... No, I'm not. You know what? This is so funny how the liberals could do that. Michael Moore is everything that he preaches against. He is everything he preaches against. He lives, he's a one presenter. He's got he said he's a one percenter. Money. He said he's he a one doesn't percenter. give it away. He holds on to it. He I don't all those loopholes. I'm think, sure that you talk about all the time. I think that all now of let me these. Tell you what he I think all done. of these things that you're saying, you have no idea. You're just saying them right out of your butt. Doesn't matter. Of course it doesn't. You know that's why, how you, you know are. People are used to that now. People you know why that doesn't matter? Because you have no recourse on it. If you knew the truth, you would have said it. So shut up. I don't know. What I I'm don't know. That. I don't know all this intimate information about Michael Moore. But what I'm saying is, you don't either. You're just saying. He, well, You're just I do saying. know more about Michael Moore than you. Then apparently, because he didn't give his money from bowling to Columbine. Look it up. I never said that he did. Anyway, did I? No. So I said he could do whatever he wants with it. He was it. ridiculed it's his money. by the protesters at an Occupy rally, and he was ridiculed because he was asked. Why didn't he give any money? Why is he there talking, but yet he's one of the 99 percenters? And what did he Where say? does he keep his... He wouldn't answer any of those questions. Where does he keep his investments? Where does his money go? What banks does he use? This is the same guy who went to, in front of AIG, which, by the way, I didn't think we should have been about anyway. So I was for what he said on that. But I'm never for Michael Moore, but he was... You just that. were. Uh, what he went there and said, you know, where's our money? Where, where, why did you know, give it back. AIG shouldn't have had the bailout. Well, they shouldn't have had the bailout. That's true. But he is an investor. In AIG? Yes. So, you know what, Michael Moore? Put up or shut up. Show us that you are this great communist that you talk about because you are the epitome of capitalism. And I salute you for being the epitome of capitalism. Ah, I feel good about that. I'm done. My rave on Michael Moore is done. You know, we actually had some comments last week on the, on the show. Did you see? No, I did not. Posted. Uh, we had some comments. Uh, they didn't leave their name. They left some screen name. Uh, but they were talking about how Obama can possibly be blamed for the economy because he had nothing at all to do with the economy, and he has nothing to do with spending because the House and Congress are both controlled by the Republicans, and that person's an absolute idiot. That's the same stuff you said about Bush, you know. Uh, uh, that's yeah, same. but I did take I take blame for Bush's stuff. I mean, I say he's you he did stuff. Not. I said that he's spent money. We've talked about that. I said he spent the most money on entitlements ever. We have said that. I heard you say that. Now the thing is, this person who comments on there absolutely has no freaking clue because she thinks that Obama's by himself and that. All first of all, the Congress first of all, is Republican. One, well, thing you need to, an idiot. one thing you need to remember is just because somebody doesn't, there's, there's room in this country for everybody. Sure there is, but you should know what the hell you're you, talking no, about. No, because they don't agree with you makes them an idiot. Do you agree that all of Congress is Republican? No. Well, then you don't agree with them either. Then a person's an idiot. I'd like to see a comment where somebody said all of they Congress did. is. Did. I just well, looked. You I need to look at it. I just you looked. Look. I couldn't find no, it. No, it's on our YouTube one. Which I, that's where I went. I was just on the YouTube one. There's no comment. Then it must on the Vimo one. Uh, and seen. the other thing is, uh, we don't actually use YouTube. YouTube is like a secondary or third thing because uh, Google has up, uh, upset us so many times. We don't, we don't care about them anymore. <laughs> you have a running. Uh... I have a running hatred towards them. <laughs> yeah, we don't even use their number anymore. That's why our numbers are different. Yeah. Okay, President Obama to visit an oil field in Oklahoma. Have you seen this story, little boy? I saw the one where he says he's burning too much jet fuel. I saw that. Well, one. yeah. Okay. Um, we talked about this before. Uh, I do believe that gas prices are going to be a huge thing in this election. Gas is going up and up and up. As you know, you traveled this weekend. Mm -hmm. So you know gas prices are starting to get a little bit crazy. Um, the picture that's here uh, behind us, there should be, is uh, some low numbers in Southern California. I wish we can get that. Matter of fact, Jen, uh, did you get gas in the last couple of days? Pulling it up right now. Yeah, because our prices here in California are quite a bit higher. Yeah. Um, the president now is on a whole different idea. I don't know if you remember that he wouldn't sign the bill because of the oil pipeline that was going to come down right. through Canada. 
Um, I can't say with total and complete honesty that that would have changed gas prices, made them higher, made them lower. But to make a complete reversal now and start to say drill, 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 drill well, from first of what all, happened six months ago to no drill, no drill, no drill, no drill, air in your tires. We're producing more. The, the United States produces more oil than it ever has at any time in its history. Yeah, and it right uses now. a lot, too. So we're already, we're already you know, producing a lot of oil. You know, and everybody, the answer is not drill, drill, drill. That's not the answer. I well, don't think that's the I answer. Well, I got a question for you. I got an answer for you. Oh, go ahead. Gas prices in San Diego range between four dollars and eleven cents at some random Where? gas station that is Where can we get it's that? on um it's on Fifth Avenue and South Center City Parkway Ooh. in Escondido. Okay, it's Escondido. And yes. And uh, <laughs> get to it. and then the high price would be um four dollars and eighty nine cents on Palm Canyon Drive and Country Club Road in Borrego Springs. Wow. So that averages out to San Diego County gas prices are four dollars and Thirty-four point five cents a wow. gallon. Okay, We're twenty-nine that, by my house right now. And that's uh, just for. So basically, do you believe we talked about this last week? Now we see what the president's doing. He's starting to visit some oil fields. He's talking a lot about more, a lot more about energy. Do you believe it is going to be something in the uh, the election? Do you think yeah, that you know, Obama the, camp is a little bit nervous about it? I think they're a little nervous about it, but I think that they need to to the. Oil prices right now are not because of, it's not because of Obama. There's all sorts of factors that have the gas prices high. It's not that we, you know, everybody's saying we need to drill more. We're already drilling and producing a lot of oil. I've said this in the past and I keep saying it. The problem is not that gas is too expensive. The problem is that gas is still too cheap. Thank you, Bill Maher. And when, and the problem is, do I want to pay more for gas? Absolutely not. I'm not saying that I want to pay more for gas. You know, I just put a hundred bucks. Well, I have a question. Truck. What about people who can't afford it? Shouldn't they have some kind of government subsidy to help them with gas? I I don't know. I think that we're starting to go a little bit too far now. Yes, that would be too far. I you would know? have literally hit you with the statue. If you okay. Said that. Yes, I do think that's that's that. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, my God! The, Listen. Here's the, the issue, thing. The, the issue is we need you. to we need to start thinking long term, and nobody thinks long term. No. But he is thinking long term. I completely agree with you on that. You know I agree with you on that. But the question is, and this is what I brought this topic up, do you believe that the Obama camp thinks this is going to hurt or have a detrimental effect on his campaign? Absolutely. And so we had talked about this a few months Watch ago. Fox a few News. Weeks ago. Watch Fox News. They are all over him for the gas prices. All they actually all are. They all are over him for the gas, much prices. On the gas prices. So, um, you know, but what do you think happens... We talked about this a few weeks ago, and, and you were saying, well, I really hope that he doesn't start campaigning on this, and I really hope that a war doesn't break out because of this, and right. I really hope they wouldn't do that. Do you see the steps of him going around the country talking about energy? Do you see any of that as a, I don't want to say prelude, but do you kind of see that becoming a huge topic that he's going to have to address? Definitely going to have to talk about oil. Um, I think that people who really, truly understand um, how oil prices are set know that he really doesn't have a whole lot of effect on them. Um, I'll be interested to see when the Republicans figure out it's probably going to be Romney and they start debating if Romney starts trying to bring that type of stuff up because he knows. Because he knows. Well, I know. Why, why would he? He'd be stupid We went through this, this battle back when Bush, because everybody's, back when Bush was president, towards the end, gas prices were even higher than they are now. Gas prices, and, though, are... And people were, and, and the, the Democrats were all blaming Bush, you know, everybody was blaming Bush, you know, for it. But he didn't really have a whole lot to do with that either. Well, I have a question. Uh, well, not a question. This is something I want to throw out there. How do gas prices work? I mean, I know how the why they're going up, why they're going up, and it's not a supply and demand at this time. It's a speculation right. on what we're going to have in right. time. So, say, in factored in here was the fact that it was more difficult. Now, I don't know. I, I was reading First from the, of all the, the camp this this last week that they're going to open up things and how, make it easier. How to gas get, works? There is no simple solution. You got all these people who say they should just do this. It's the same idiots who go to the Charger game and go, why aren't they throwing the ball deep? Why aren't, you know, it's the same idiots who watch, the, who watch MMA and say, why isn't he just punching him in the face? It's not as easy as that. Everybody said, why don't we just drill it? And, you know, a lot of the oil that we produce, we export. And everyone says, 
we, we export a lot of oil. Uh, not that much. Yeah. Not compared to what I we think, use. I think, I thought, I, uh, I'll have to look this up again. I was reading something last week, and I think that we export more of our oil than we actually consume. I don't believe that. I, I'll have to look it up. Because we've, we've, I'll, I'll we look and make sure that I'm... 25% of the world's energy. I'll have, to, I'll have to look that up and make sure that... Because that, I did read that. Well, and, uh, okay, but even even going on that... Not, it's not a simple solution. It is not a simple stuff solution. like opening up the Keystone Pipeline, would that have factored in to the speculators? Everything that I have read has said that that would have had no effect on the oil prices. Now, where did you get these, though? I mean, you get these from, was, like, stuff like Wall Street Journal and stuff like this the I oil did, pipeline? I did or just you do Google, it on, like, Media Matters? No, I did a Google search and said uh, Keystone, oil, uh, Keystone Pipeline effects on oil prices, and there's a bunch of different articles, and I was just kind of scanning all of them. Are they are they actual? I mean, what? Well, they were news articles. articles. They were news articles. Yeah. And because I was just, remember, you know, first of all, well, first of all, nobody the, knows. Nobody knows. I gave you the fact that I will do... Fox and CNN, because okay. you said CNN, you're, but I don't do stuff like, you know, stop liberal madness, okay, because that you wouldn't go, agree with, and I don't agree with think progress and stuff like that's that not either, what I was, That's matters. not what I was, so that's what I'm asking, no, where did I you just get did a Google search, and I just, just was, you know, I'm, I'm not sitting here, but they nobody don't know. knows, nobody yeah. knows, it's just, so, it's all what people it? assume, you know. But why not try it? I mean, what would it have Didn't done? it have a bunch, you know, it's funny because I was, I kept thinking if we were going to have a, 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 like a little thing on this Keystone oil pipeline, and I was waiting for you to throw it up there because I was going to actually start doing, you know, I haven't, I haven't read a whole lot into it. I mean, what, the reason for no was environmental, I assume, right? Is that, is that why people are against it? Is it an environmental well, impact? Well, the people that are against it is... It, it, there's environmental plus the Keystone I mean, Pipeline reasons. also had something about ca tax cuts too, and that was it was in the same package, but um, it could have been brought out. And what I see here is the experts are saying now that we're going to see five, five and a half, six dollars a, uh, a gallon, excuse me, mm -hmm. before the election. Now that'd be tough for Obama. That'd I think it will. I think it'd be real, real tough. tough. And, real I, and, and I and I definitely want to keep on this. And I, I saw this thing from the Daily Caller caller today about the fact that he's flying around to talk about fuel prices. Well, he's doing now, that because I'm, he... I'm not complaining that he's using uh, Air Force One. That's what he's supposed to do. Know, and, you know, every, those complaints single are ridiculous. Right. every single president uses Air Force One or Marine One or some type of transport to do their campaign. That's part of the deal. That's just part of the, part deal, of the deal. deal. I just thought it was funny because we had talked about this before and how... Uh, how uh, where where you stood now? Because before you did say, yeah, I don't think it's going to make a difference, and and now it is. I never said I didn't think it was going to make a difference. Well, you were saying that yeah, you don't think it was going to happen like that, but I'm wondering. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you said that. I don't think so. so. Producer Jen has some info for you. Oh, sure. speak. So uh, a little bit about what Jason is talking about. Um, little boy. According little boy to, was sorry, about. sorry. A little bit about what little boy was talking about. <laughs> according to USA Today, okay. in an article that was uh, put up in December of 2011. Let me read you this little excerpt from it. The U.S. exported more oil-based fuels than it imported in the first nine months of this year, making it likely that 2011 will be the first time since 1949 that the nation is a net exporter of such goods, primarily diesel. And they are talking about jet fuel, heating oil, and gasoline. So that Thank was you, Purdue. You know, I, I am a big fan of producer Jen. <laughs> Thank and what you, was that? Boy. that was in 2011? Uh, that is uh, the stats for 2011, and that was uh, the article was posted at the end of December uh, in 2011, and so it's not uh, absolutely complete for 2011, but that is the latest information I can find. Well, very good. Thank you. Well, there you go, little boy. So, and then when people see stuff like that, a lot of people who don't know are saying, uh, no, I'm doing something else here. Yeah, what the I'm multitasking. <laughs> are, are, are we not in the middle of a show? I'm done. I, Nothing's being affected until you start staring. Gosh. All right. Finish your, finish your speech because we're going on to what Hillary Clinton in 2016. Is, is people hear stuff like that, and it's so easy to say, why aren't we just consuming that oil? Why are we exporting it? Why don't we just use it instead of exporting You know, people say, why are we exporting oil and importing oil? Why aren't we just keeping it all and not having to do the both? The thing I did hear was that something about the U.S. producing more diesel than other countries. But I don't, you know, because Europe uses a lot of diesel. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know we were, I really didn't know we were exporting more than we were taking yeah. in. Uh, that, that, and that's great. 
Yeah. I mean, you know, I'd rather be an exporter because why shouldn't we get the money from it? You know. Well, yeah, and it's not as e- it's not as simple as as people. It's not it's it's, it's not a simple solution like that. It's not you know people say oh. Just stop exporting it and just keep it here, and then we'll have oil, and the prices will be you know dollar ninety nine a gallon, or you know, well, which is funny, funny because a dollar ninety nine gallon. Remember back when we were paying you know seventy nine cents, you know yeah, we would have yeah. done crazy for dollar ninety nine. Are you crazy? Oh my God, I would love a dollar ninety nine well, a gallon actually, right now. Well, um, actually, uh, you know, speaking of on that way, um, if the U.S. well, I guess it doesn't really matter. If 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 there, it's private companies that own the oil, right? So why can't they do whatever they want with it? I mean, who, is, who, who are we to tell them not to do that? But what I would say is, until we can get another program in place, make it as easy as possible to get it, because the transfer of wealth is tremendous with that, mm-hmm. the, the price of gas. Uh, you know, I drive a huge gas guzzler, and we're talking about going somewhere Wednesday, and I, we can't take that car. Thursday. Thursday, I mean, we cannot take that car. Let's move on to Hillary Clinton because we are getting really long in the tooth here. Hillary okay. Clinton, uh, Carville, James Carville, uh, he is the very, very unattractive man that works. I uh, love, I love when they do James Carville on Saturday Night Live. Oh, I man. Bill Hader. Does, and you know what's funny? He looks just like a lizard man too, doesn't he? But he does just such a great James Carville. I think it is just And it's so, so funny because funny. he's married to a tremendous conservative. Yes. So you met Mar- 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 Mary Matlin or Mary Mary Mar- 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 Mary Madeline. Mary Madeline. <laughs> Marley Matlin, something yeah. like that. Um, imagine if it's like you and I, but then being married, you know. So you get the fact that we hate each Did other. Did you make a different decision when you woke up this morning? No. You get the fact that you hate each other sometimes, yeah. but then we can just be done with it. But once that's, you're married, is, you hate each other because you're married. Yeah. You got that. <laughs> Plus this. That's uh, actually a good comparison because that's, a lot of people ask, how can we be friends, you know? Oh, it's because it's, it's like being married, but you leave. <laughs> Everyone asks how you can be friends, not some people. Yeah, yes. no, that's true. <laughs> we are on such different ends of the spectrum, and when you know when we when we fight and argue, it's legit. It's not like we're just playing around. You know, we are really, really, really into it and serious, and even sometimes a little angry until it's over. I was absolutely blown away, though. And then we go get some food. This, and we go get some food. Took a second when I said about making subsidies for gas for people who couldn't afford it. You should have been right on there. No. But you I were didn't like, take a second nah, roll back. You that did. Ever roll that footage back? I think okay. I, oh, oh, if I took let's, a second, it's because I though. didn't quite. I had to kind of yeah, comprehend yeah. what you were let's saying. Let's keep going real quick. Uh, so anyway, James Carville was saying that uh, he believes that uh, Hillary Clinton uh, should run in 2016. That's no matter what happens here in this election. Obviously, mm. they're you, they, you kind of like Hillary a little bit. I don't do you? like Hillary a little bit compared to our boy now. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, so here's a good here's a good question. Because right now, a lot of people are going to be voting for Romney because they're just like, eh, you know, yeah, I, know. I got to vote for the Republican. I don't no have a choice, you know. And I've been there before. I, I'm not, I'm not going to criti- criticize anybody who does that because I, you know, I, I carry for crying out loud. Um, but Hillary run, if Hillary right now, let's say, let's say Obama was done, this is eight years for Obama, so he's not running again. And it was going to be Hillary against uh, Romney. Um, who would you vote for? Oh, Romney. Would you still vote yeah, for Romney? I, still vote for I Romney. thought you liked Hillary. Yeah, I, I do like Hillary, but yeah, I still don't. am going to vote for Romney. You don't Even like though, her. You don't like her if you if you'd still vote for Romney because you don't like Romney. I what? would vote for Hillary. You would? Wow! Wow! That's a different. Absolutely. I've spoke to Jen in the past, and um, she had some interesting reasons for not wanting to vote for Hillary before. Wow. I'm not going to throw them all but out there. I will say I am not a fan of Romney. Yeah. Well, that's a problem. Yeah. You know. Um, I am not a fan of Romney either. The reason why this is so interesting is whether President Obama wins or not. Right. When a Republican or when a no, excuse me when a president win, uh, you know has a second term. Normally, throughout history, his vice, vice president. president goes up there, yeah. and and that is not even being talked about. And I think it's because Joe Biden is basically a buffoon. Let me but, tell you something. You know, Biden. Every, first of all, all vice presidents are looked at as buffoons usually. Um, you know what's funny is, you know I liked. One thing I liked about Joe Biden years and years and years ago when he ran was, do you remember? You know, like at the beginning when when um, when. Candidates are not really ready to announce if they're going to be candidates or something. And I remember he went on a talk show, and it was way early in the campaign. And he's like, yeah, I'm running for president. You know, and I was like, you know what? 
at least I can respect that because all these other people at the beginning they know they're running but they won't say they're oh, yeah. running. You know what I mean? Last because right. as soon as you say it, you're open for exactly. Shot. So I kind of liked that about him, but then you know he 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 went off the page. I I, I don't think that <laughs> you know. I mean he just you know he he ended up not having much of a chance of winning. Whatever you know. That's one thing I really liked about him. Um, that and the plugs. I like the hair plugs too. Big fan of the hair plugs there, Joe. Um, but. Uh, I, I don't think he's going to run. I don't know. I don't think he's going to run. But what do you think about her age? She's, she's Who cares? Who cares? She I, will I, I, be 69. Yeah, that's not that bad. Oh, that's not that bad. No, For some reason, bad. I thought she was going to be in her 80s. No, no. And you know what? I have, I have no problem with that if she was 100 years old. There, there's, there's no... There's no age. I would love for There's Hillary an age limit for minimum, 36, I believe. 35. 35. Yeah. But maximum, no. If you can make it to 200 years old, yeah. run. I mean, why not? I would it's love for Hillary to run. But I would love for Hillary to run. We now, need another Clinton back in the White House. Now, oh, bring in Bill. Maybe she can get Bill. Maybe they'll be still married, and she can get Bill a job. Now, let me tell you something. She wins, and guess where Bill Clinton? What happens to Bill Clinton? <laughs> <laughs> he has to change his name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The first husband. Bill Clinton was one of the most respected men by men he's a, he's ever. Because he got away with so much. I'm impressed by him. He did. He's Not as a president, but I'm impressed the, by him. The fat man, little boy, and Jen show. Hey, I, I have no problem. Jen did some research and and backed me up on something. So I yeah, yeah thanks, Jen. You uh, go ahead and you just jo- dive in anytime you want to, Jen. Uh, fat man, what would you like me to research no, for you? I'll help you out. We need to end the show. It's getting a little okay. bit long. Uh, well, let's let people know where they can reach us. They can reach me anytime they want at Fatman at Fatman Show. Wait, wait, wait. On Twitter. <laughs> Sorry. On Twitter at Fatman Show. Or you can get me on email. It's Fatman at FatmanLittleBoy.com. Um, you can reach me on Twitter. I'm at LB Host. And uh, you can email me at LittleBoy at FatmanLittleBoy.com. You want to come on the show? Shoot me an email. Uh, we'll set it up for you. You got we got the phone number six one nine three eight seven three four five seven. We can set it up before, or you can call in right in the middle of the show. Like I said, there's no screeners. If you called right now, bing, and start ringing, we'd have to answer. We wouldn't have a choice. Well, maybe we would answer. We uh, we can also Skype you in. We got the the TV back here, and you can uh, you can actually Skype right on in. Um, yep. And uh, let's go over a couple other shows that we have real quick. We yes. have the P- well, we have a new website, PMLBSports.com. Yep. It's got all kinds of sports, all kinds of content. It's basically an aggregate site for everywhere. Right. So uh, basically, if you don't want to go out there and search the website uh, for information, lots you can find news. it on lots ours, of news. and then go to directly to the website you want to go to. So we kind of. Yahoo Sports Sports started like that, and I really liked it. But then all of a sudden, they went very commercial. And so when we were building our, which, which I guess you have to do, but when we were building our site, the one thing I told the tech guys is I want to be like Yahoo Sports was at the beginning so that I can go to one place and then it takes me directly where I want to go, mm. a true <coughs> sports search engine. Yeah. So basically that's what we have now. It, it gives you the articles from all over the web, and it lets you go directly to the place you want to go to, yep. as well as our own content. We have our own yeah, shows. Yeah, we have our own shows. We have the, um, of course, we got the PFP Sports Guys, uh, on Wednesday Sports evenings. Guys Wednesday evenings. We got BT on PMLB. And um, he is unbelievably knowledgeable. Yeah, he's very knowledgeable. Um, and he was a come to. You know, if you, uh, he just contacted us and said, "Hey, I want to come on there. Let's yeah. talk." Um, I knew him before, but uh, he just watched one of the shows and said, right. "You know, I want to try it." I like having him on there. We have the Roundtable Sports Discussion Show, which is Great a lot show. of fun. It's kind of like Sports Reporter, you know, light. Um, I like having him on there because he he actually brings a, a a different. You know, most of us are from San Diego. He he uh, brings a little bit of a different take, and he's he's got uh, quite a bit of knowledge there. So that's and a, uh, we that's have two to more shows. In the work, well, of course, we have Aztecs, we have the Aztecs San Diego report. people. Yep. Um, SDSU Athletics is uh, that the Aztecs is the name of their uh, athletics department, right. and um, that's a great show. That's with BT and Darren, and uh, you're going to pop in and out of there, yep. I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a few call-ins this week. We have a call-in from a coach down there. Um, also, we're going to have a Padre report. Yep. It's going to be you and Darren. It's going to be me and Darren. And I think BT is going to call in on that one. And uh, Darren and Darren and I actually talked today quite a bit about maybe a Yankees report because I'm a huge Yankees fan. Yeah. I think that would be a little too much. I'd rather just do articles, but uh, we might do an American League deal or, you know, just yeah. baseball in general because we love sports here. Lots of stuff going on, lots of stuff going on. If you want to come on any of our shows, please contact us. We, uh, we love to have you on. All right. With that being said, I think we're done. Yep. 
and we'll see you real soon. Take care.